In this video, I'm going to show you how to download complimentary unbound shaders for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment where it is going to provide you with a written step-by-step -step guide along with all the necessary files and tools that you will need. Okay, so step number one is to download the iris shader loader. So you're going to need a shader loader in order to run this. So all you want to do is underneath step number one, go to this link right over here and then it is going to bring you to the iris shader download. All you want to do is you want to press on download now, then you want to go ahead and press on download universal jar just like so now depending on your web browser you may be able to see the iris installer on the top right like me but if you don't see it what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads but anyways all you want to do is you want to drag and drop the iris installer to your desktop and it will just make the process significantly easier all right once you're done with that let's return back over to the website and the next thing we need to do is to download the complimentary unbound shaders so underneath step number two you're going to see this link right over here so please go ahead and press on it then go to the right and where it says game versions, make sure that Iris is selected. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure you download the most recent one. So as you're able to tell, it does work on 1.21.9 and also Iris. So you just want to go ahead and press on these three buttons that says download file right over here. And all you need to do is wait for the file to be downloaded. But while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Symbol Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a unlimited slot 24-7 server for you and all your friends. The best part about Simple Game Hosting is that you're able to customize every single aspect of your server. You can make a Java only, Bedrock only, Crossplay, include mod, mod packs, and plugins with the click of a single button. It is also incredibly beginner friendly with their dozens of video tutorials and 24-7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. So guys, if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So as you're able to tell, we now have the complimentary unbound shaders right over here installed. So let's drag and drop it to our desktop like that. Then return back over to the website. And step number three is to install Java if you haven't already. So Java is really important and you're gonna need Java for anything shader related in Minecraft. So underneath step number three, please go ahead and select on download Java right now. And just make sure that over here that JDK21 is selected. Then from here, you guys could select on your operating system, whether you're on a Linux, Mac OS, or on a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I would go ahead and select on that. Then I would install the x64 installer right over here, press on this link, and then it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard. And it really doesn't take too long. Downloading Java is relatively easy, but you may need to restart your PC in order to actually apply Java on your system. So just be prepared to do that. Okay. Once you're done with that, we can go ahead and return back to our desktop. So at this point, you should have three things. You should have Java installed on your system. You should have the Iris installer and the complimentary unbound shader. Once you're at this point, you are good to go. So what you want to do from here is you want to right click on the Iris installer, then select on open with. Now, if you did download Java on your system, like I previously mentioned, then you're going to see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. And all you want to do is you want to press on that option right over here. Then a menu like this is going to appear. Okay, now where it says select game version, please double check that Minecraft 1.21.9 is selected. Then afterwards, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on install. Then it will say completed. Then you can go ahead and close out of the Iris installer. And from there, open up the Minecraft launcher like you normally would. All right, guys. So here we are in the Minecraft launcher. So just double check that Minecraft Java edition is selected. Then you want to go to the top menu and press on installations. Now over here where it says versions, please double check that the box that says modded is turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. All right. And then in this list, you should eventually see Iris and Sodium right over here. And all you want to do is you want to go to the right and press on this folder button that says open installations folder, just like so. Then you're going to get a bunch of folders that look like this, but do not be worried because all you need to do is you need to scroll down until you find the folder called shader packs. So yep, here it is. Okay. So once you locate your shader packs folder, please go ahead and double click on it. Then as you're able to tell by default, it is going to be empty. So all you want to do from here is you want to minimize the Minecraft launcher and you actually want to drag and drop your complementary unbound shaders inside of the shader packs folder, just like so. Then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of your shader packs folder, return back to the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and select on play over here where it says Iris and sodium, just like so. Then it is automatically going to boot up Minecraft. All right, guys, so here you are in Minecraft and all you want to do from here is just load into any Minecraft world. All right, guys, so here you are in Minecraft. Now, let me show you how to apply this shader. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on options. Then you want to select on video settings from here. Go to the top menu and select on shader packs. You're going to notice that like the menu is slightly different. And then over here, you guys will now see the option that says complimentary unbound. 
So please go ahead and select on it, then go ahead and press on apply. All right, guys, and then afterwards, you're able to tell that the shader is officially working and here's how things do look like. So this is a pretty good looking shader and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys did find it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.